，今天赛前心理上有没有一些包袱呢？是否有影响到你们今天的发挥？以及今天这场比赛对你作为职业选手的心态有没有一些影响？啊、呃，嗯，感觉今天第一盘游戏的过程的话，就是可能是会被可能太久没打比赛或者训练赛有影响到一些吧。啊、呃，就可能。打的会有一点害怕，有一点紧张，然后一直在做不是特别好的决策吧。嗯。Great. We'll take next question uh, from Quan. Weibo Gaming had strong team compositions, but faced challenges in team fight coordination and decision making. Can you share what was missing in the execution and where the team could have improved in connecting plays? 那其实感觉到你们今天选的还是比较强的一些呃团队的一些阵容，但是呢，感觉你们好像在团队整个团战的一个协作方面，包括说一些决策处理上有一点点的艰难。所以说也想问一下，你觉得你们可能在这整个的部分有哪些的一些问题，或者说整个可能在你们整个操作的一些衔接方面，还可以有哪些部分进一步的提升呢？嗯，啊、呃，我觉得最大的问题还是在中期的。转线运营、转转线运营，还有抢夺视野方面，然后，呃，还有我们选取进攻的地方都不太对。像第一盘先锋可能要放在中路，然后第一把的第二个大龙团，啊、呃，对面双 C 是没有闪现的，但是我们把目标放到了贾克斯上面，所以这些都是呃问题所在。嗯。So uh, I believe for this game, I think the biggest problem is the mid game, like the lens swap and also the macro, uh, as well as the um, vision around the map. Um, for example, and also we got some mistakes, maybe for the aggression as well, maybe for the first game, um, the uh, opportunity like we. How we use our rift herald, and also around the baron, we all got some problems. And sometimes maybe we can have the hard engage on Jax in game number one, but we just made the wrong decision around there. So we got some mistakes here and there. We'll next, take next question from Duan. How did you feel when WEG picked Maokai for the top lane and Elise for the jungle in game two? Fun fact: today happens to be Elise's birthday as well. 呃，那也想问一下，可能 W B 可能你们在选取上路茂凯，然后还有就是打野的呃蜘蛛的时候、嗯，你们是什么样的一种想法？然后同时比较有趣的是，今天还是蜘蛛的生日。嗯、呃，上路的英雄选择，说实话是被呃训练赛会有影响到一些吧，然后觉得这些波比茂凯这英雄打武器会比较好，但是事实也是他在。两盘比赛中其实都有比较不错的表现，只是我们团战跟决策方面做的不是特别好。然后蜘蛛的话选出来的话，我们前面就可能要打的非常有进攻性一点，但可能因为一级团的原因，所以后边就是呃大家打的都有点偏发育了吧。So I think why we have the top lane champion choices is really based on the result of our scrims. We feel like maybe champions like Poppy and Mokai can be a good counterpick against Jax. And indeed, for the actual game, those champions will really have a very, uh, very decent performance on the top lane. And but why we didn't get the victory is mainly because of the team fights and also our decisions. Some parts of this are not that good. And the champion choices for Alex, we feel like. Uh, after we have picked this champion as a jungler, maybe we really need to play more aggressively and do more aggression. But from the level one invasion, it's kind of we really need to do some little bit farming, so it's kind of drag the whole game tempo. Um, we'll take next question from Esports Focus. 请问一下，失利之后，现在选手们的心态如何呢？那之后有什么样的一些规划可以和大家分享吗？嗯。嗯、呃，选手们的话都输了之后还是都比较自责难过的吧。然后，呃，就觉得今天有很多事情，很多东西都做的不是特别好。然后，但是，但是输了就是输了，也没有办法，就是后边就希望大家好好休息一下吧。嗯。We also have our Korean translator in case there are any Korean questions. Please feel free to drop them in the chat. Um, we'll take next question from uh Baishi Hubu. 嗯，非常可惜，非常遗憾，你们没能够更进一步。但你会怎么样总结世界赛的 WBG 和今年的 WBG 呢？嗯
啊，我觉得呃。从过程来看的话，我们今年依旧也是成功的，因为我们其实是在夏季赛，我们五个人才凑齐，然后，呃，一开始也就是非常艰难，差点掉到涅槃度，但后边还是进到了夏季赛总决赛跟，呃，夏季赛的四强，然后过程也是一直、呃，就是大家实力方面也是有明显的提升的，然后，可能作为四号种子来说，走到这儿已经算不错了，但是，呃，感觉还是比较可惜吧，没有能走到最后，嗯。We'll now take the hand raise questions. Do we? You can take the first one from Yahoo Esports. Uh, 好，那 Hello 小五就是很遗憾今天的比赛结果。那但是今天今年也是你就是登上 LPL 的十周年。那觉得今年这个十周年的旅程走起来怎么样？那觉得自己今年的生涯第八次世界大赛的经验跟过去七次相比，最大的不同在哪里？嗯。哦，今年的话，嗯、呃，算是我出道的十周年吧。但是打 L 票的话，应该是，啊、呃，第九年吧。然后，今年世界今年世界赛的话，觉得做的比较好的地方就是，呃，就是反正是最近包袱越来越少了，然后就是可以去完全放松的去打，就是觉得最后的结果也感觉还不错了。嗯。We'll、take next question from Tio from Sons of KS. Uh, hello, Xiaohu. I'm Teo from Sons of KS from Americas. I want to ask you uh, about the compositions. We've seen the Jax and Skarner combo being very strong during the whole Worlds, actually being the most uh, big champion for being in this case during the competition. Knowing this, I would like to know what was your strat to face it and why leaving it open during the three games? 那其实也想问一下关于贾克斯和蝎子这样一对上野组合的一些问题。其实这也是目前世界赛版本当中非常火热的一些英雄选角。然后呢，其实也是呃整体在赛场上会有很不错的一个表现。然后，但是想问一下，你们今天是放出了三把这样的一个组合，那是怎么样来面对的？同时，为什么可能这三把都把这两个英雄 open 在外呢？嗯。其实也跟训练赛的成果有一些关系吧。然后。蝎子跟贾斯其实在去面对永恩跟双杰的阵容确实是不错的选择，但是，呃，我们也选出了很多的团战控制以及虎男还有蜘蛛这些不不是特别怕蝎子的英雄来打，然后可以看得出来，我们其实前期都是有一些优势的，也是成功吃到了潮虫跟先锋，但是我们后期的中后期的进攻角色一直不太好，所以导致输掉了比赛。嗯。So as may also, uh. A result of our screams, uh, we feels like facing off against Jax and Skarner. We can really play around with Yune and to have a very good draft as well. And to be honest, maybe for today's composition, we have a lot of like CC's CC skills in all the team fights, and we also got this kind of champion choices like Elise or. Uh, uh, Elise is kind of jungler champions. This can also be a very good pick facing against of uh, Skarna and Jax. And indeed, we got some early game advantage. We have a very good uh, early game uh, resource control. But after that, we just made some mistakes, maybe in the late game macro. Thank you and sorry for the loss. And we'll take one last question from uh, Felipe from Mice Esports. Uh, hello, good afternoon. It's okay to hear me. Uh, so my question is is about not only this game, but Brazilian analysts say that today was not uh, Weibo Gaming is underperformed, but this world was a uh, overperformed from Weibo from the whole team. It's like uh they were expecting less from Weibo Gaming than they showed during all all worlds. So what do you think about this? Uh, what's the real level of this team? What do you think that you really have more to play? And what was your expectations at the words before? And what is lost opportunity tastes for you? 
那可能就是包括说一些巴西的他们的分析师也有在讨论，就是说可能并不是说你们今天表现的没有那么好，而是说你们整体在之前在世界赛的表现有点太好了。嗯，就是其实很多人对你们可能之前没有那么的高的一个期待，但是你们在舞台上展现出了你们全部的实力，然后给了观众很大的呃回馈。然后所以说也想问一下你怎么去看待，然后包括说你们可能来到世界赛之前你们的一些期待值会是怎么样的？然后呢，整个对世界。赛的旅程有什么样的一些想法？然后包括说对今天有什么样的想法？嗯，呃，其实我们来到世界赛之前也是以四号种子的身份来到吧。然后包括从决赛到三号种子的争夺以及四号种子的比赛，我们可能都打得不算特别好，但好在还是最后来到世界赛。然后其实，在一开始的表现也确实一般般，但是其实每一盘比赛都是。有机会赢下来的，甚至输的比赛里基本也都吃到了大龙。然后，哦、呃，觉得还是最可惜的还是我们中期的进攻决策吧。然后，呃，也可能是在八强我们的表现比较好，然后就是给了大家不一样的展望啊。然后觉得今天标记的，呃，就是整体 BP 思路也做的也挺好的啊，因为，呃，可能也比较限制比较多的去限制我中路能拿到一个线权的一个英雄吧，嗯。So, um, coming in into this World Championship as a four C from LPL, I really feel maybe from the LPL final till the regional qualifier against LNG and also the last game against JDG, maybe for those kind of best of fives, we didn't manage to perform that good. And after that, coming into World Championship, we start like make our uh, improvements uh, for all the game, and we feels like for all the game we. Um, even for the games, we didn't manage to get the final victory, but we still got some opportunities inside the game. Uh, and sometimes we just be able to get a Baron and have some good plays. But I think the part that we left some regrets is about the mid game. For the mid game of the aggression decisions, we feel like we can just do better. I feel like after the quarterfinals, maybe the, in the quarterfinal, we perform quite good. So this really gives more uh, hope to the fans. Um, but for today's game, I must say, BLG, they have a very good ban pick plan and they really make a very good uh, restri restriction to my main lane champion choices to ban out my champions that can really have a very good laning phase or quite can be dominant in the laning phase. You know, I didn't realize that this man has been to eight world championships in his 10-year career, or nine. I have no idea what the translation was trying to say about votings. Yeah, regardless, it's, it's quite incredible that he's had this career. I think he's only missed worlds once, maybe twice. Um, <clears throat> yeah, he's made it to, to worlds multiple times, quarters, semis. I think maybe he failed to make it out of groups once, but probably not. Either way, that's an incredible career, and um, it's interesting to to see him talk about like what their draft plan was, giving it the Elise and or not giving the Elise, picking the Elise, picking the Yone with him being like, oh, we think Yone is good into Jack's corner. Uh, who knows if we see that kind of stuff on world stage or not? But um, it was it was nice to see. This will be the last scrum. Uh, there might be I might have some one on ones that'll come out Friday. I'm still not sure, honestly. Uh, but then, yeah, Saturday, there's going to be the press conferences, and that's it. The World Championship is basically over. We have one more game. Either BLG, do history, have a five-man uh, Chinese roster win, have a Chinese mid win, which has never happened since T1 started winning. Um, I guess it's just, yeah. And then they will also be T1 in the best of five of Worlds, because Chinese teams haven't have yet to do that. Um, they've done it all the time at the MSI, but not, not, not here. Yeah, it'll be very interesting. Or will this team one roster defy all expectations? One game away from not making it to Worlds to winning Worlds. Um, the DRX roster, the DRX story, but like a little bit more expected, I guess, because it's T1. So we'll see. And uh, yeah, I will have the T1 like press conferences and the BLG up as soon as as soon as they're done after finals. So you probably should subscribe if you want to hear what they have to say.